Hey y'all, and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian, and this unhinged, woke uh, campus member, she claims to be a faculty member, goes off the rails and crosses a major line, and it's not going to end well for her. You, you, you won't believe the justice that happens at the end here. How are you doing, y'all lady? And I, I can tell you something else. Right. I, tell you something else. I had an abortion two years ago, and I don't regret it at all. They yanked the fetus out of my uterus. They yanked the fetus out of my uterus, and I'm so happy. Okay. I'm so grateful. Okay. And I'm a professor at this university. Okay. And I make more money than you. Okay. And what else? What's your name? That's none of your business. I mean, we're being cordial here. You, you hear? Yeah, got my mic. Are. We're being cordial, right? Yeah, we're being cordial. We're being cordial. So, my, my name is Ricky Castor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I mean, nice to meet you. Is that you? Just came up here to tell us your business without giving us your name? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, we'll pray for you. Okay. We'll pray that the Lord save you. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Um, what, I wish I knew your name so we can know where to pray. Right. Well, either either way, either way, mm -hmm. your soul. Either way, and you're so. Kind of what 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 makes me that? You kind of ruined everybody's lunch. They're like, oh, oh sorry. You took the cord out. Yeah, I took the cord out. Yeah, because okay. you won't give me my bike mic back. Please, okay. please give me my mic back, please. Please, young lady. Thank you. Thank you. Have a have a good day. Okay, you're not stronger than me. All right. God bless you. God bless Don't, you. Hey, 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 officer. This young lady went. She tried oh, to rip I'm my stuff officer. up. Oh, I'm assaulting her. She's, she's assaulting. She's taking his stuff. Come here. I have it on video. Yeah. I'm assaulting him? Yes. Why, you're, you're very angry I'm about your abortion. I'm assaulting him? Yeah. And you're very Let, angry about your Okay, Come if on. I get arrested right now, I would literally laugh out loud. Why are you talking to this like that? Hi. No, it's not. Okay, you should probably let him have the stuff. Do you want to let it go? I do. Are you going to ask me? Would you please let it go? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? So you need to let go right now or you're under arrest. Walk away right now. I already said I was going to let it go. I have a question for you, board men. Mr. Board men, am I assaulting you by holding this court? Uh, could, can I get my stuff? Can, can I get my stuff, ma'am? We'll go talk, but we're going to go Can I ask a question? Of course. Go ahead. But Am let go right now. Let go right now. Yes or no? Let go right now. Yes, no. Yes or no? You're under arrest. Put your hands behind you. We, we pray for the grace of God for you. I really don't know how to start off this reaction. Because on one hand, this is hilarious. She is getting the consequences of her actions. She is trying to take his stuff and she won't get her hands off of him. So arguably, she is both committing th attempted theft and a uh, simple battery, right? It, it's not assault like you think it is in the video. Assault means uh, usually that you have a deadly weapon or you have intent. And by the way, you've expressed the intent. So the, the video does not show that. So I'm really glad these officers do the right thing here because this is the reason that our laws are written the way they are. You do not have the right to take away someone's free speech by attempting to steal the parts of their mic or by putting your hands on these people. Even if it's in a non-violent matter, this is clearly non-violent. She is not trying to harm this guy. She's just trying to take his stuff. I ironic thinking that. <sighs> but then, as much as I want to continue to dunk on this lady, there's part of me that morally cannot and refuses to because she's admitted to having an abortion. And this is where, once again, I'm now back in the gray area because she's shouting her abortion from the rooftops. She's trying to do this to trigger these people. And you know what? I believe her. I believe that this is the kind of person who's going to go around, have a little too much fun out on the town, cares more about her career and her, the rest of her sex life than she does about her responsibility once she has brought life into this world. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to give a shout out to my friends over at Colonial Metals Group. Their experts understand exactly what they're doing with gold, silver, and other precious metals, unlike our current leadership, which is giving us rampant inflation, terrible Federal Reserve policies, a president that doesn't know what planet he's on, and of course, an out of control Congress that won't stop spending. We have to figure out ways to keep our wealth safe. And the best way to do that is to go over my friends at Colonial Metals Group because their experts can help you diversify your portfolio and they've got an amazing offer for first time accounts. Free gold and silver IRA accounts, insured storage for five years, up to $7,500 in silver delivered directly to your home and a safe to keep all that stuff in. So go over regardless and see what they can do for you and protect your wealth and your future today.
Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. This whole debate when it comes to abortion is whether or not you believe that you have a right to life. Now, there are some times where that right to life is going to harm someone else's right to life. And that's why I will always choose the mother over the child. The mother's more viable than the baby. I, I'm not an uh, abolitionist. Uh, sorry, abolition. Abolitionist on this, uh, on this debate. And I simply can't be in that camp at all. But I can understand this, that life starts at conception. That is a beautiful thing. And we have to do better about protecting that ability, not just for that life uh, to come into this world, but to, to then continue to protect that life and protect the family where we are supposed to keep it moving forward. That is the whole point and purpose of the, or at least the whole ultimate goal of this debate. But we have to start out in two places. One, that if life begins at conception, that you need to protect the right to life. And two, you've got to be more respectful than this. This chick is clearly entitled, is doing everything she can to ruin these people's day, and wants to take away their First Amendment speech. They have a right to be there. And this guy does a fantastic job of uh, handling her right up until the moment where she puts her hands on him and tries to take his stuff. He correctly goes straight to the officers who were anticipating this. This chick is probably a known agitator at this, uh, at this campus. And when she says he, she's ruined everyone's lunch, I agree that they've ruined everyone's lunch, I agree. But I agree in the fact that she has ruined mine. I mean, maybe I need to watch this clip every time I'm tempted to go out to Chipotle or Taco Bell. <laughs> because may, this will turn my stomach. This makes me fundamentally sick. To know that this person thinks it's an okay thing to shout her abortion and then try to take away someone else's First Amendment rights. It's just despicable. It is just sad. And I reserve this only for a handful of people, but you know what? If she had a theme song, it would probably be Evil Woman by ELO, Electric Light Orchestra. Man, they don't make music like that anymore. So anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Am I wrong on something here? Is the music uh, fundamentally correct for this lady? I think it is, but if you disagree, let me know down below. And don't forget, my name is Brian. Let's like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.